I wonder how many mistakes I've made. Huh? Zero? That means I've never done anything wrong, right? I'll just put it on private so that my friends don't think I'm arrogant. You're the one who let my food burn in the oven, right? I told you to take it out on time. No, it wasn't me, Mom. Why do you always accuse me? I know you have a lot of mistakes. That's why you put it on private, right? No, I put it on private because... Stop making excuses. Excuse me, sir. Am I in this class? Well, it depends. How many mistakes do you um, make? Um, a hundred. That means you're in the lowest class. Class D. Class D? Why is class A empty? Apparently, only one person can enter class A. It's the person with zero mistakes. They'll give that person something special. Something special? Like what? Don't worry about it, because it's definitely not you. You're the one who stole all the exam answers. No, sir, it wasn't me. She's lying. Her mistakes are private. I'm sure she just says that to not get accused. That's not true. You're all wrong. Okay, if you didn't cheat, make your mistakes on public to prove yourself. Okay, sir. She must have a lot of mistakes. Share the same pain or share the same bank account as my soulmate? If I share the same bank account as my soulmate, I might be poor because he might not have money. So, I'll share the same pain. Hurry up, Amara. You're going to be late. <sighs> yes, mom. Be patient. Ouch! Poor soulmate. He probably felt that. Hey, Amara. Hey, Jason. Why is your neck red? I woke up and it was already like this. Maybe a ghost was strangling me in my sleep. What? I'm just joking. I'll see you later. Maybe it was just a coincidence that he had a burnt mark on his neck. What did you choose this morning? To feel my soulmate's pain. You should have chosen to share your bank account. I chose to share my bank account and look at me now. I'm super rich. Hey, Amara, can I stay at your house? No, sorry. You're a guy. My mom would never allow that. Please, I'm so afraid of my parents. Why is he afraid of his parents? Why is there so many bruises on your legs? Did you have a fight with someone? These bruises are from my soulmate, mom. Jason didn't come to school today. Why is everyone looking at me? You don't realize what's on your stomach? What do you mean? <sighs> your stomach's bleeding. Let's go to the hospital, quickly. <sighs> There's definitely something wrong with my soulmate. Amara, it's your turn. Sir, I can't take it out. Is it because of your soulmate? <sighs> yes. Okay, I see. Oh my gosh, he knows. What's going to happen now? Okay, everyone, thank you for your time. He's just going to leave? That was weird. Why did he tell everyone to let their hair leave? If I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone? Yes, of course. What is it? I think the principal might be my soulmate. What? Isn't he like 40 or something? I don't know. I might be wrong. I really hope you are. Okay, class, pack your stuff. It's time to go home. Not you, Amara. You need to go to the principal's office. He wants to talk to you. Good luck, bestie. Tell me what happens after, okay? Please don't be my soulmate. Please don't be my soulmate. Hey, you wanted to see me. There's someone I want you to meet. I can't believe it's you. What? That's my son. He's been controlling your hairstyles. Are you my soulmate? Is that why you asked the whole class to put their hair down? Yes, I was trying to help my son find out if it was really you. That makes so much more sense now. I thought you were my... I was your what? Nothing. Hey, I didn't catch your name. My name's Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go. Change face or change stomach with my soulmate? If I choose to change stomach, he might eat something spicy. Then my stomach's gonna hurt. So, I'll choose to change face. Huh? In three hours, I'll be swapping faces with my soulmate? That means soon I'll know if he's ugly or beautiful. Amora, I'm so sad. Why? Because I chose to change my face with my soulmate, but what if he's ugly? I chose the same thing, but at least it's better than swapping stomachs. Actually, I'm a bit scared. I wonder what my soulmate's face will look like. Aren't you ashamed of training face with your soulmate? Your face is so boring. It would look ugly on anyone. I think I should add makeup on before swapping face with my soulmate. That way, he won't think that my face is boring. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> There's five minutes left before I swap my face with my soulmate. Hey, Amara. Oh, hi. I chose to change my face with my soulmate. You also chose to swap your face with your soulmate? Yes, I'll change my face with her in two hours. Two hours? But the time above my head is different than yours. Oh, so you're not my soulmate. I guess not. Okay, time is almost up. It's time for me and my soulmate to swap faces. Three, two, one. Yeah, take off your mask. I'm curious to see what you're hiding. We promise we're not going to bully you. Okay, okay, fine. I'll take off my mask. 
Wow, you're so pretty. How can it be that you're so beautiful? Beautiful? What do you mean? I have a mole in the middle of my face. Your face is so clean. What are you talking about? Sorry I called you ugly yesterday. How did my mole disappear? Does this mean the power of the mask removed it? Please, can you borrow me that mask? I have a lot of moles on my face. I would borrow your mask, but I only brought one with me today. Just give me that one. Okay, here. Finally, I can lose my moles because I have a beauty competition and I didn't know what to do. Surely you'll win in that competition. You said your mask can remove moles, right? Yeah, but I gave it to Sandy earlier because she has a beauty competition. Are you crazy? That mask can only be used once. If it's used again, something bad will happen. What? I hope Sandy hasn't used the mask yet. Okay, the next participant is Sandy. Thank you, sir. Before this competition starts, please remove your mask. Okay, I'll take off my mask now. I have to stay awake for 24 hours? That's easy. Honey, remember the rules, right? <sighs> Never fall asleep until the time is up. That's correct. Otherwise, I don't know what can happen to you. I don't understand why we can't sleep. Did you forget what happened to David? Right. You all have a time that you should not sleep under any circumstance. What happens if we do, sir? It's different for everyone. Some disappears, some get sick, and some even dies in their sleep. Mom, I slept 40 minutes only. At least you'll survive. I just got three days. Take this, honey. I made you coffee. I hope it helps. I can't believe it. I have to go three days without sleep. Oliver got ten days. But this is impossible. Rebecca fell asleep yesterday and her skin peeled. It's horrible. Honey, how long did they give you? They gave me ten hours. Okay, hurry up and go sleep while you still can. Oh my gosh, no. That's impossible. Don't scare me. What happened? A month without sleep. Mom, that's 720 hours. Honey, that's impossible. Please open page 306. Hey, are you okay? More or less. I haven't slept in four days. Today we will learn a new topic. <sighs> Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Amara, you're falling asleep. Let me check your balance. Whoa, it looks like your balance is very high. You can stay in the school. Thanks, sir. Amanda, it's your turn. The total of your balance is under a thousand pounds. You'll be removed from the school tomorrow. What? That's not fair. I have a lot of money. I promise. Based on our examination, we'll be kicking five people out of the school as their balance is under a thousand pounds. We'll call their parents to let them know. I can't believe you lied about your balance, Amanda. I was only friends with you because you were rich. I didn't lie. I promise. My parents are rich. Yeah, right. Anyway, you'll be out of school tomorrow, so I'll never have to see your lying face again. Please help my child so that she doesn't get kicked out of here. I'll pay you back. I promise. Yes, Amara, please help me, please. Excuse me, miss. I'd like to pay for Amanda's school fees. Whoa, are you serious, Amara? You're so nice. Yeah, she's a lifesaver. Thank you very much. Anytime. I also want to pay for the remaining four students. Please don't kick them out. You're so nice. Okay, I'll call the parents now to let them know that they can stay in the school. Hey, Amara, um, thank you so much for helping me out. That's okay, but please promise me never to judge anyone based on how much money they have, because at the end of the day, money doesn't mean anything. Okay, I promise, and I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Ten million or a pen? Of course the money. Amara, don't forget breakfast. <sighs> yes, Mom. I chose it by accident. This pen is so ugly. They could have at least given me a nice one. I'll just use it until it runs out. Honey, what did you choose? I chose the pen. Instead of the money, what are you going to do with Whatever, it? Whatever, Mom. It was your fault I chose the pen anyway. Hey, don't blame me for your actions. What did you choose? The money, right? No, I chose the pen. Oh my gosh, that pen is so old. We all chose the money. Look, the poor person just entered our class. She's dumb for choosing the pen. I know, right? I can't help but laugh at her. Class, I hope you're all ready for the test. Huh? Sir, can you repeat that? There's only going to be two questions, but they're going to be super hard. I didn't even study. I don't understand any of this. I'll just answer it. Jake, since you finished first, you're getting extra points. I don't care about who finishes first. I care about getting the highest grade. It's really upsetting that I don't have any friends. Let me just use this pen. Amara will disappear from this world. Did you hear the news about Amara? Yeah, she disappeared. No one knows where she is. Are they talking about me? That means this pen is... 
What if I look at the moon with just one eye? Wow, it's beautiful. No, 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 this can't be happening. What do I do now? Hello? Hey, you, come with us now. No, please, I barely even looked. I just looked for a second. You broke the rules, come with us. Where are you taking me? What is this place? Everyone here has broken the rules too. They're waiting for their potion to be made. Potion? Yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Yours is done. I'm not going to drink this. Listen, don't make this difficult. We're going to have to force you. But what does this drink do? It's going to transform you into a creature, but you won't know which one until you've drank it. I don't want to drink it. Listen, young lady, I don't have time for this. <sighs> Why would you do that? I'm just doing my job. Anyway, now that you've drank the potion, you can leave. You better say goodbye to your family before it's too late. Mum. What's wrong, honey? Where have you been? I looked at the moon and they made me drink a potion. What? Are you insane? How many times have I told you? I know, Mum, but it was a mistake. What's going to happen to you now? Apparently, I'm going to turn into a creature. Here, drink this. Maybe it will calm you down. Mum, you spilled water on me. Uh-oh. Honey, you have 80 years remaining, right? Yep. Can you donate your heart to your sister? She only has 12 days left. But, Mom, if I donate my heart, I'll die. No, you won't die. It takes eight years for your heart to grow Are again. Are you sure? Yes, just donate your heart now. Okay. Amora, how are you living without a heart? My mom said my heart will grow back. Grow back? Are you serious? I'm only joking. I didn't actually donate my heart. I only told her I did. Oh, so you didn't donate your heart? Nope, my mom doesn't really care about me. She only cares about my sister. I feel sorry for you. Class, today we'll be speaking about our families. Ugh, why does the teacher always like to speak about our families? She's just trying to avoid teaching us because she's lazy. Amara, you go first. But miss, I don't want to. Tell us your family story, otherwise you'll get a detention. Okay, so... My mom and dad got divorced a long time ago, and my sister has a heart disease. She's dying in 12 days, and since I have 80 years to live, my mom told me to donate my heart to her. Why are you all so silent? Did I say something wrong? Why are your eyes red? Are you crying? <gasps> yes, I'm crying because of your family story. It's so sad. Whoa, the whole class is raising funds for me. Amara, honey... Mom, what are you doing at school? Your sister needs a heart right now. We need to go to the hospital. Honey, what you can never look at is loading now. Oh, but what if I look just a little bit? This is serious. What appeared? Something round, like this. The moon. So you must never look at it until you turn 18. Class, I need to make a list of things you can't look at. I can't look at cats. I can't look at my mom. I can't look at the sun. I can't look at the moon. My grandma has it and it's easy. Amora, I'm scared to death of this. I agree. I don't understand why we can't look. But on second thought, did you see that Henry can't look at his own mother? This is scary. Mom, I'm home. How many times have I told you to be home straight after school? You're late and the moon's already rising. Can you just stop? Up until now, I still don't understand the meaning of this whole thing. Honey, just wait a little longer. The rules disappear when you're 18. It shouldn't be long. I couldn't look at water. It's time to go sleep. Yes, Mom, I'm just going to listen to the news. Teens are disappearing as they have decided to break the rules and look at things that they shouldn't. Good morning. Have you seen Emma? She's not answering her phone. I'm sorry, but she's gone. You didn't know? True. They said she looked. No, she wouldn't do that. She was very afraid. Honey, you've missed a lot. You need to go back to school. Come, let's go to sleep. Good night. What if I look at the moon with just one eye? Wow. It's beautiful. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello, answer me. Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was chicken soup. Okay, now, keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. 
What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches, why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I do, Mum. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag filled with food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. Huh? I have to make five people smile? Mom, what does that mean? If you make five people smile, you can have whatever you want. Everything? Even a luxury house and a luxury car? Everything. Oh my gosh, of course I'm going to accept. I hope you succeed, honey. It could really help our family right now. So, I have to make my neighbor smile. That's easy. She's my friend. Hey, Amara, why did you take so long to get ready? I've been waiting for an hour. Because I knew you'd wait for me. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Yes, thank you so much for smiling. I managed to finish my first challenge of making people smile. That was a sarcastic smile, but you're welcome. Make my brother smile? Let me find him. He's probably around the school somewhere. Has anyone seen my brother? Hey, sis, I'm getting married today. You're what? But you're still young. I'll smile if you promise not to tell mom. If he smiles, I can become a millionaire. Okay, I promise. Yes, I'm getting married. <laughs> Amara, your grades are always low. Sir, I'm trying my best. You're the student I hate the most. I promise, I'm going to study so hard and get an A star on my next exam. <laughs> That's impossible. Yes, at least I could make him smile. I heard you trying to compete the challenge. Just to let you know, I only have one more person and I'll win. I can't let her win. I have to hurry up and make two more people smile. Mom, I'm home. How's the challenge going? I've already made three people smile. And now I have to make you smile. Of course, I'll make it easy for you. Yay, thanks, Mom. Now I only have to make one more person smile. I hope the last person is someone close to me. Grandpa? Mom, we have to go to his house. Okay, follow me. With pleasure. Um, Mom, where's his house? It's right here. Why is there a tombstone here? Uh, because... Hopefully I'll get the color of blood. That way I can be just like everyone else. Huh? Purple color? I didn't even know purple existed. Honey, as far as I know, purple is the color of animal blood. Animal? Yes, honey. You better change it to red. Okay, Mom. I've changed it to red. Well, now you can go to school. Okay, Mom. Take care, honey. Hi, guys. I'm new here. Oh, the color of your blood is red? Yeah. Then you have to change class. Oh, why is that? The only people who can enter this class is the ones with blue blood. What? I should have changed my color to blue instead. If I did, then I wouldn't be in this dirty class. Did you just say you changed your color? Of course not. I'd like to order some food, please. Sorry, but if you have red blood, you can't order from this canteen. I can't? Nope, only people with blue blood can order. Actually, my color was blue, but I changed it to red. Huh? Why did you change it? Isn't it good that you got blue? You didn't know? The king will end anyone with blue blood because he doesn't want anyone to replace him. End them? Yes. Sir, I want to ask you something. What do you want to ask? Is there any other class besides blue and red? There is one class, yes, but no one's ever entered it. It's for one person with a different colored blood. Why hasn't anyone entered? Because that person hasn't showed up yet. Why do I suddenly have a headache? Do you want me to take you to the nurse? Yes, please. My head really hurts. Why isn't there any nurses here? The nurses barely show up for people with red blood. I feel like I'm about to have a nosebleed. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, my nose is actually bleeding. Amara, open the door. Don't enter! Sir is sick, he needs to throw up. Hurry up! If she doesn't open the door, just break it. Yes, sir, I'll do it now. No, wait! Oh my gosh, Amara, you're purple, so you faked your color? I'm sorry, sir. Why didn't you tell me from the beginning that your color of blood is purple? Purple means that you are... Intelligence potion or rich potion? 
I'll choose intelligence. I know everyone will pick this one. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. I don't even know why I'm paying for your school. You're just dumb. I'm literally throwing my money away. It must suck to be stupid and poor, right? Yeah. This one has a complete package of bad things. Class, we have a test today. Amara, are you prepared to get the lowest grade again? <laughs> Let's see. You have five minutes left. I'm done. Here, sir. I'm sure my grade will be the highest. Congrats, Amara. You've got the highest grade. You've improved a lot. <gasps> Seriously, sir? Yes. Congratulations. That's impossible. She cheated. I was watching the whole time. There's no way she cheated. Then let's do another test to see if she gets high grades again. Okay, tomorrow we'll do another test. Let's make a deal. If I get the highest grade, you'll leave the school. And if you get the highest grade, I'll leave. Okay, that sounds like a good deal. Look, she thinks she can beat Sophia. Poor thing, she has no chance. Here's your test. You have one hour. A whole hour? It will be a piece of cake for me. Sir, I'm done. Me too, sir. I know I'm gonna win. Don't be so convinced. I need to check first. So, sir, who got the highest grade? Okay, so the student with the highest grade is... I'm so tired of being single. Dad, can I go to an all-boys school? An all-boys school? I mean, yeah, if that's what you really want. I already chose it. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'll see you later. I need to go to my new school. Wait, before you go, you must know that boys only school... It doesn't matter. I already chose it. Bye. Wait, it's important. I can't wait to get to school. Everyone's definitely going to be surprised because I'm the only girl there. And I can finally get myself a new boyfriend. Guys, look. Why is there a girl wearing our school uniform? For God's sake, Dave. It's still morning. Don't worry about it. But really, wow. She's so beautiful. Why does the toilet smell like pee? Because there's no girls here, so we can pee freely. Wait, what? Are you for real? No, I'm just joking. Can I have your number? I I'm just going to go. Today we're going to learn how to cook so you can be the dream husband in the future. Yes, cooking class. This is one of my favorite classes in school. But why do all guys look so pale? Please choose your own group. One group consists of two people. Why are you all looking at me like that? Please be in my group. I can't cook. Leave her alone. She's going to pick me. Don't listen to them. Come. The seat next to me is free. Whoa, relax. Instead of fighting over me, I can just teach you all how to cook. It's very easy. Why is there a girl in this class? Who allowed her in the school? Throw her out now. Why should we throw her out? She's better at teaching us how to cook than you are. Just get rid of her now. Ugh, I hate teenage girls. Are you sure you want to kick me out of the school? That would be a very bad idea. And why do you say that? Because I... Take off your mask now. <sighs> okay, okay, relax. I'll take you off. I hope I can still breathe. Otherwise, I did this for nothing. Oh my gosh, she actually died. Do you think we'll be caught by the police? Yes, let's just run away. Am I in heaven? Gosh, sis, I was so worried about you. Why did you take off the mask? Wait, so I'm not dead? I'm sorry, I took off the mask because my friends told me to. The three masks I took off my friends, why aren't they here? Thank you for helping me. What? Now you can be mask free for one day. One day? I thought you meant forever. Yeah, but for that, you need to give me the three masks you took off your friends. You never gave them to I me. I forgot where I put them, but I'll bring them to you soon. Okay, here's my address. Hey, honey, why aren't you wearing a mask? I don't need to wear a mask. Thanks to that old lady. Did I not tell you not to speak to that old lady again? Where is she? She's right there. Wait, where is she? You have to be careful with that old lady. Don't be like me. What do you mean like you? Uh, just keep your distance from her. Are you okay, sis? I'm really worried. As you can see, I'm healthier than before. They all feel guilty for telling you to take your mask off, but they don't know you're still alive. Don't worry, I have plans for them. Wait, wasn't she dead? Maybe she's a ghost. I was saved by my sister, and thanks for trying to kill me, by the way. You guys are horrible. You're even more horrible. You killed three of our friends. Okay, class, today we'll be running for an hour and a half. An hour and a half? That's too much, sir. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. You know what? At least I'll be fine. I can just run without a mask. You know what? It's fine. I'll participate. Me too, sir. Me as well. You guys ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, there's no one around. It's time for me to take my mask off. <sighs> I'm tired too. Oh, hi, Amara. 
Oh my gosh, do you think she just saw that? It's fine, just take it off. Did you follow what the evil old lady said? Why are you calling her evil and how do you know her? Wait, are you serious? Everyone knows her. She's known for... Okay, I'll have a drink. Hmm, fresh, right? Yes, it's really fresh. Why do you look so panicked? Um, I just realized I'm late for class. Bye. You look worried. I am, because I just found out how many years Alex has left. The new kid? Yes, he has zero years left. Huh, but how is he still alive? That's exactly what I'm confused about. Maybe he's already dead. But if he's dead, then how is he still talking to us? Hey, Alex. Oh, hey, I just finished exercising. Thanks for giving me the drink, by the way. It really did give me energy. I should probably try and increase his age. What are you doing? Um, nothing. I just wanted to thank you again for giving me that drink. You're welcome. Why don't you try and change the amount of years he has left? I tried, but it's not working. That means he's dead because it only works on people who are alive. I told you he was a zombie. Zombie? Yep, and I'm going to tell everyone. Wait, don't. Amora, I want to be honest with you. I used to be a zombie, but the drink you gave me turned me into a human. Are you being serious? Yeah, and it's all thanks to you. Um, I'm happy you turned into a human again. How long do I have left? Four years left, but don't worry, I'll add some years to your life. Whoa, thank you, Amara. This is the zombie, sir. Did you tell her I had zero years left? I had to because I was suspicious. I'm sorry. Cute, but we have to get rid of him. We can't have zombies around the school. Yes, finally, no more zombies. Alex, wake up. Why would you do that? Amara, it's over. Come, let's go. He's still not dead. How do you know that? Because it still says he has 44 years left. That's because you've added more years to my life. Don't worry, Amara. I'll never leave you. Uh, wait, what? How is this possible? Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules again. Huh? Bold? So, turns out you did break the rules. Take her now. Where are you taking me? Just follow them. Where am I? People who violate the rules are brought here. What? You're my neighbor, the one who broke the rules, right? Yep. Now that you're here, your hair will be controlled by your soulmate and not the system anymore. Controlled by a soulmate? Yes. Oh, look who it is. My ex's new girlfriend. I thought you said you didn't break the rules. Turns out you did. Whatever, you broke the rules too. Well, at least now I know the truth about you. I've given up. It's up to my soulmate to choose my hairstyle this time. What? Why isn't it appearing? Maybe your soulmate's sleeping. <sighs> okay. I wonder what will happen if we don't listen to our soulmates and just do the hairstyles we want. What happens is you won't be able to get married in the future. Wait, really? Yes. So, if I do all the hairstyles he tells me to, I can get out of this place, right? Yeah, but you'll have to follow the rules for a while. Then why isn't he giving me any hairstyles? I already told you, maybe he's sleeping. No, there must be something wrong. He can't sleep at this time. There'll be a new hairstyle tomorrow. If you don't get one by then, you can start getting worried. But for now, just relax. Come on, please choose a hairstyle for me. Still nothing? There's definitely something wrong. I have to find out. Hey, do you know the creator of this hair system? The creator of this hair system is in that room, but no one's ever seen his face. He always wears a mask. What's wrong with you knocking on my room like that? Take off the mask! And who the hell are you? Where is my soulmate? Why isn't he choosing any hairstyles for me? Your soulmate doesn't want to set any hairstyle for you. So you're free to choose whatever hairstyle you want. Take off your mask! Alright, if that's what you want, okay. You know me, right? Dave? My childhood friend, right? Actually, I made this hair system so I can meet you again. I knew you wouldn't follow the hair rules because you've always liked to do your hair however you wanted. It just made it easier to what? find you. Tell me where my soulmate is. Your soulmate's right here in front of you. Surprised, huh? Here's your exam. You have one hour. I'll be standing here to make sure you don't cheat. Oh, don't worry, sir. I don't need to cheat. This is going to be very easy for me. You have two minutes left. Done. Are you sure you don't want to read over your answers? I already did. When do I know the result? In about two hours. Okay. Can I go to class now? Go ahead. I'll call you when the results are in. Psst. Hey, Amara, how's your exam? It was okay. Can you imagine the principal wants me to get 100 out of 100 in order to stay in the school? What? That's insane. It's also impossible to get 100 out of 100. No one ever knows the answer to everything. 
Well, I was up all night studying yesterday, so I hope I got all the questions right. Hey, stop talking and focus on the lesson. Sorry, miss. Amara, the principal wants to see you about your results. Okay. Come on in. I'm pretty surprised with your score. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think you could do it. Because usually girls aren't smart. What does that mean? You broke the school record with the highest grade. <laughs> so does that mean I'm a student here now? Nope, not yet. What do you mean? That was the deal. I have to test you at PE. As you know, boys are usually better at sports. And if you want to be a student here, you can't embarrass us. We often compete against other schools. And what sport do you want me to play? Basketball. Considering your height, I'm not sure you can do it. It's not too late to quit and switch schools. No, know? I want to do it. Okay, practice starts at 5 p.m. today. Don't be late. Okay, sir. Okay, everyone. I want you to try and score as many goals as you can. Why can't I get any in? Here, let me help you. What's your name? Chris, and you? Amara. Okay, focus on what I'm doing. Since you're a beginner, you have to stay not far away from the goal. Focus on the little box right there. Once you hit it, just like this, the ball should go straight through. Hey, you have a try. See, I knew you could do it. Hey, Chris, get back to your team. Don't help her. I have to go. I'll see you later. But hey, don't give up. You're doing good. Amara, come here. Yes, sir. I want you to score 20 goals without any misses. If you can't do it, you can't be a student. 20 goals without missing? Not even once? Not even once. Okay, get ready. The test starts in three, two, one. Amara, please take off your mask. Okay, sir. I'm so dead. Whoa, your lips are so red. This means your soulmate's perfect. I'm proud to have a student like you in my class. Thank God he didn't find out I faked my lip color. Thank you so much. You saved me from getting caught by the teacher, and now I finally have a lip color. Of course, we always help each other out, right? Yeah, but how come you never show your lip color to anyone? Um, I'm a bit hungry. Do you want to get food from the cafeteria? Why is she changing the subject? Amara, I bought you a drink. Please come on a date with me. I'll take you to a restaurant. Hey, I bought you a teddy bear. Wait, wait. Why are all the boys being so nice to me? It's because of your lip color. They all want to be your soulmate because your soulmate's perfect. I can't believe so many people have a crush on me. Actually, I still don't believe your lip color is original. What else do I have to do to prove it, sir? Try wiping your lips with this tissue. Why is it so wet and smelly? Just do it. Okay. See, nothing came off. I told you I didn't fake it. This means your lips are real. I'm amazed. Don't you feel there's something strange about the teacher's behavior? No, why are you so suspicious of him? He's just acting weird. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, I'm going to go look for my soulmate. Bye. Amara, wait, your lips, they changed color. What? Oh gosh, why are they black? I don't think you should meet your soulmate. Why not? You'll be in danger because... Congratulations, you're invited to an interview. Excuse me, can I help you? I'm here for the interview. Name? Amara. Girlfriend number? Three of times. Any special skills? I'm good at writing stories. I like acting, dancing. Miss, you're not applying for a drama school. Oh. Girlfriend 305? Yeah, that's me. Your interview was successful. Really? Yeah, please come with me. I'm going to introduce you to your new boyfriend. Okay, there he is. Hey, Amara. I don't even have a sister. Hey, mom, quick question. Do I have a sister? No, where'd you get that from? Nowhere. No, seriously, tell me. I need to go. Bye. She has what? She's probably older than me. Hey, mom, how's work? Not good. I was late. And instead of apologizing, I was shouting on my boss. What? Yeah, he almost fired me. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm so clumsy. Oh, look, an ice cream truck. Can I have ice cream? No. Why? You know why. Mom, I want ice cream. Okay, honey. What? Why can she have some? Because she's skinny. Sis, do you want some? Can I? No, don't give her any. She needs to lose weight. Give me that. Look at all the junk food you're eating. You should be embarrassed. I'm not that fat. Am I? Who wants pizza? Me. Actually, I'm full. Good girl.
Sis, you haven't eaten anything in days. All you do is drink water. I don't need food. Pretend to be poor or really be poor. You better pretend to be poor, Amara, so you know who's being sincere with you. Um, that's true, but how do I pretend to be poor? Just tell people that our company's bankrupt. Okay, starting from today, I'm going to pretend to be poor in front of all my friends. Hey, Amara, uh, why are you wearing that bag? Where are all your designer bags? Did you sell them? Yeah, because my family's company got bankrupt. I don't have any money. That's why I'm using this bag. Well, in that case, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. I was only friends with you because of the money. Amara, I heard that your family's company got bankrupt. Is it true? Yeah, my family's company got bankrupt, so I don't have any money now. Don't worry, Amara. I'm going to give you £5,000. £5,000 for me? Why? Isn't that like all your savings? It's okay, because you helped my family when we were poor, so in return, I'll give you my savings. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Look at Omara's family who's famous for being rich. They went bankrupt, you know? Huh? Are you serious? That's crazy. That means we can't eat at fancy restaurants anymore. Class, in two days, there will be a study tour abroad. All students must participate in this activity, except Omara. Why can't I join, sir? I heard the news about your family. I assume you can't afford it. Who says it. I can't afford it? Amara, just give up. You're poor. Marita's so annoying. She keeps saying that I'm poor, but she doesn't know that this whole time I've been lying about my family being bankrupt. You lied about it? You heard that? Please don't tell anyone. You're weird. Why do you even come to this school? Isn't it, like, expensive for you now? And why do you wear those branded clothes? Wasn't it me who bought them for you? Oh, you did not just say that. What? She slapped you? How dare she? Yeah, she slapped me. I was so shocked. I didn't even know what to do. That's it. Starting tomorrow, you don't have to pretend to be poor anymore. You have to show them how much you have. What color did I get on my lips? I'm curious. Huh? Pale? Why are my lips pale, mom? That means you don't have a soulmate, honey. I don't have a soulmate? That means I'm never going to get married. Calm down. You can just pretend with this lipstick. Here, use it. Okay. Does it look real? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to school now. Hi guys, what color are your lips? Yellow, which means my soulmate's cruel. Mine's red, which means my soulmate's perfect. I also got red. I can't wait to meet my soulmate. Calm down, we haven't went through any obstacles yet. What do you mean? You'll see. I have to reapply my lipstick. It's starting to fade away. What are you doing? This is strictly forbidden. It can cover the true color that we received on our lips today. Hey, let me throw it away for you. No, don't. My lips are too pale. So you faked your color? Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh, your lip color looks really good, Amara. Yes, it really does, sir. My lips are naturally red. But you're in class. You're required to wear a mask. Class, those of you who didn't bring a mask, please take one off my table. What if my lipstick comes off with this mask? Everyone's going to know that I'm lying. Put on the mask. Okay, sir. Psst, you have to go to the bathroom and put on this lipstick. But what's the difference between this one and the one I was wearing earlier? This one's permanent, so it won't come off with the mask. That's great. Thank you so much. Sir, can I go to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, why does this look weird? But, oh well, if it's permanent, then no one's going to know that I'm lying. Let's hope this works. Why does my lips feel weird out of a sudden? Okay, class is over. It's time for you to take your masks off. I really hope that lipstick was permanent. Amara, take off your mask. Okay, sir. Why is there so many marks on my face? Hello, Amy? Don't forget to come to my brother's funeral today. Wait, what? Funeral? Yes. But your brother was fine just yesterday. After you left, he fainted and died. Anyways, I'll see you later. But my face still has marks. That means he's not dead yet. Hey, Amy. Why do you have so many marks on your face? Yeah, my uh, soulmate's hurt. Perhaps? Perhaps what? Um, nothing, nothing. Why do I feel like Amy's trying to hide something? Gosh, that's a lot of marks on your face. Yeah, I'm trying to find my soulmate. Looks like your soulmate isn't doing too well. Did you know that Amy's brother died? <sighs> yeah, I do. Why? Why aren't you sad? Because I feel like her brother hasn't died yet. What makes you think that? I saw he had three wounds on his arm yesterday and my face still has marks, so I guess he hasn't died yet. But you have to make sure that Amy's brother is your soulmate. Yeah, true. Mom, I'm home. Lewis? How do you know Amy's brother's name? It says Lewis on your forehead. First the marks and now his name? He's definitely my soulmate. 
But isn't Amy's brother dead? I don't know. Sorry, Mom, but I have to go. I hope Amy's still awake. Hey, Amara, what is Hey, this? sorry to bother you at night, but um, I forgot my book here last night. Okay, come on in. Where's the book? Um, I think I forgot where I put it. Can I go inside to look for it myself? Okay, but don't be long. Louis? Louis? Where is he? Did something just break? Amara, what are you doing here? I was looking for my book. I just remembered. We don't need books for this project. So why are you really here? Oh, yeah, right. My book is at home. Why are you covering your forehead anyway? Because it's, um, cold. Take it off now. Why is your hair color white? Sir, what does white hair mean? I don't think it means anything. No meaning? I suggest you go to the hairdresser and change your hair to another color. Okay, sir. Did you guys see Amara's white hair? Finally, someone with a different hair color. I want her hair. Sir, why is everyone looking at me? Ignore them. Follow me to the hairdresser. Okay. We've arrived. Please close your eyes while they fix your hair. Amara, there's something I want to ask you. Excuse me, sir. What did you want to say? I need a piece of your hair for research purposes. What? No! Oh my gosh, look at her hair. It's white. I wonder how much money we'd make if we sold it. Why them. are people so weird? Hey, white hair, follow me. No, you're a stranger. Just hurry up. Let go of me. Who are you? Listen, I'm here to save you. Why won't you hide? Hide? Oh, you still don't realize that they're against your white hair, do you? Do you know why your sister's mark won't disappear? Why? The mark she has is no ordinary mark. Huh? What mark is it? It's a magical mark that can't be erased easily. I'm only here to find out who the real queen is. Okay, what should I do now? Hey, give her this drink. When she drinks this, her mark will disappear. Hey sis, are you ready to be embarrassed in front of everyone because your mark is fake? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Everyone knows I'm more suitable to be queen. Anyway, see you later. Anyone have any proof suggestions today? I do. So, we have to drink this. Whoever's mark disappears is a faker. Okay, I agree. Let's start now. Okay, so, because this is my drink, you'll go first, sis. Okay, I'll drink it now. Done. It's your turn now. Okay. My mark's still here. We have to wait one minute for it to work. So, how long does it take for the drink to work on her? For the drink to work, you have to wait one minute. Okay, got it. Thank you. Well, as I predicted, her mark is gone, meaning I was right all along. She faked it. Whoa, that's bad. So you're the fake one? Amara was right. No, she's lying. Please, forgive us, Queen, for doubting you. You're a liar. I'll prove it. Hey, sis, because you lied about your mark, you're going to be my assistant for a whole year and do whatever I say. Hello? Hello? How comes you on my mom's phone and who are you? We need your help. Your mom and dad aren't doing well right now. They can't talk. What do you mean? What happened? We barely survived. We had to swim three hours for the nearest island. What island is it? Hello? No, don't hang up. How am I supposed to find them now? Who was that? My parents are still alive, but they're stuck on some island and I don't know where. Listen to me. You have to stop crying, okay? That's the only way you can help them out. I can't just stop crying. I'm stressed out. Just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Just think of a good memory. Maybe it will help. It worked. It's sunny. Okay, now let's go find your parents. How are we going to do this? They called you, right? We can take the phone to the police and they can locate where the call came from. Okay. So, did you find them? Yes, they're not very far away. Get the rescue boats ready. We need to get them out as soon as possible. They must be dehydrated. Mom, Dad! We're so happy to see you, honey. Hey, have some water. Wait, so you're not mad at me for crying? I mean, you could have chosen another day to cry, but no, we're not mad at you. We're alive, and that's what's important. Why didn't your sister come with you? We had a fight. She blamed me for what happened. Hey, don't be mad at her. She probably just did it because she was stressed out. I'll talk to her. Sis, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. It wasn't your fault. No, it's fine. Thanks for the apology. 
How are you? I see you're finally happy. Yeah, I realized I shouldn't waste my tears on someone that never cared about me. I deserve better. That's so true. I'm glad you finally realized that. How? This is impossible. Isn't Tasha 17? Actually, Tasha is... Mom, what are you talking about? Nothing. I was just saying hi to your friend. What are you doing uh, here, Mara? I was just lost. I couldn't find the toilet. You should have told me. I would have helped you. I have to change the subject. Yeah, true. Could you please show me where it is? Yeah, come with me. <sighs> Finally. Thank you for showing me where your toilet was. That's fine. Here, have some snacks. What? Only this? I thought we were going to eat an expensive meal because, you know, you're rich. Just be thankful I gave you something. I can't believe I still haven't found out how old she is. How difficult could it be? What's wrong? Huh? Where did you get that book from, Mom? It was delivered by the postman. How come it doesn't have a sender's name? This book is mine. Anyways, thanks for picking it up. Where's Tasha today? Class, Tasha didn't come to school today because she's sick. But yesterday she was feeling fine, sir. She showed me a letter from the doctor, so I believe her. I have to go to her house again after school. Hello, excuse me. I'm here to visit Tasha. Uh, Amara? Yes, can I come in? Um, I don't know. I mean, Tasha's really sick. I don't think she wants to see anyone. Well, I brought her soup. Can I at least come in and give it to her? Yeah, sure. Tasha? Tasha, where are you? Oh, there you are. Amara, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Mom, did you let her in? Yes, she said she brought you soup. Wait, this whole time it turns out... It turns out you're 90 years old? Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm never going to school again. Who even are you? Well, are you going to tell her the truth or should I? Mom, please. Basically, our family made this potion to make us look younger. But since you slapped her yesterday, the potion isn't working on her anymore. And now she can never be young again. Class, remember, do not draw on your faces because it will also appear on um, your soulmate's face. Miss, who would want to draw on the face anyway? I don't think anyone here would do that. What do you mean? Look at James over there. He's drawing Star Wars characters on his face with a marker. Whoa, James, what are you doing? I'm drawing on my face. What does it look like? If I draw these special characters, it will be easier to find my soulmate. James is right. I also want to draw on my face. Hey, you should join us, Amara. I have a marker. No, thanks. I'm good. Whoa, these people are going insane. Why does everyone want to find the soulmate so desperately? Do you not want to find him? No, I don't, because I don't believe in soulmates. My mom and dad were married and divorced because he cheated on her. Yeah, but that's your dad's fault. He's a cheater. Look at my parents. They've been together for 50 years. But if your dad cheated, he wouldn't tell you, so how would you know? What the heck, Omar? You're so evil. Anyway, when you find the one, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, I have to draw on my face like all these people are doing? Oh my gosh, Aiden, come here, let me draw on your face. Leave me alone, Stephanie. I really hope I'm your soulmate, Aiden. I mean, bestie. <laughs> Whoa, I feel bad for whoever her soulmate is. She's crazy. Amara, why does all your friends have stuff drawn on their faces? They're desperate to find their soulmate. And you're not? No, I don't want to get cheated on like you. Huh? Stephanie? No, this can't be happening. Out of all people, why would he write this name? I have to cover this up before anyone sees it. Did you see Aiden's face this morning? I feel sorry for him. Yeah, his face has Stephanie's name on it. She's a freaking psychopath. Hey, bro, why do you have Stephanie written on your forehead? I was sleeping yesterday after basketball practice. And when I woke up, I saw she had written her name on my forehead. This is impossible. It's the exact same writing as mine. That only means one thing. Aiden's my soulmate. Oh, look who it is. So it turns out you're Aiden's match. Wait. What's my future salary? 50 million? That's a lot. I better put it on private so that my friends don't use me. How much is your salary, honey? 20 pounds. 20 pounds? That's so little. What a shame. I'm paying so much for your school for no reason. It's not for no reason. I'm still learning. I don't want to pay your school fees anymore. Hey, um, what are you doing? Hey, I'm planning what house I'm buying in the future because my salary is 200,000. Whoa, that's a lot. How much is your salary, Amara? Why um, is it on private? 20 pounds. Huh, that's so little. I knew I was much smarter than you. Hey, don't be arrogant. Hi, guys, what's your salaries? Mine's 40,000. Mine's 12,000. Mine's 110,000. What about yours? 20 pounds. Huh, seriously? You might as well just quit school then. Yeah, you're just wasting your time. Why are you guys so rude? 
Class, please choose a group you want to work with on the new project. Okay, sir. Hi, guys. Can I join your group? You're really asking that? Of course not. Those whose salary is below 10,000 can't join our group. But you don't know how much my salary is. It's on private. Amara, come on. Everyone in school knows that your salary is 20 pounds. Just buy candy with it or something. That's if you can afford it. So, why does it say that I got grade C on my paper? It should say B on here. I heard your future salary is 20 pounds, but how come your grades are so good? I don't know, but can you change it back to B? Sorry, I can't, Amara. Everyone's going to think that I've given you a fake grade. Everyone's so mean. I wonder what they will say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. It's time for me and my soulmate to switch faces. Three, two, one. Wait, I feel like I've seen this face before. Anyway, thank God my soulmate is not ugly. He's kind of handsome. Ryan, please take me out on a date. So, his name is Ryan? Don't listen to her, take me out instead. Why do all the girls like him? Sorry girls, but I'm not gonna cheat on my soulmate. Hey Ryan, wait, why are you dressed like um, a girl? Um, no reason. Anyway, did you still want to go to gym after school and lift some weights? Your arms look skinny. Gym? Yeah, why not? Hey Ryan, come here. Yes sir? Why haven't you been in school for the past five days? Um, I was, uh... Sick. Yeah, right. Come with me. I'm giving you a detention for the whole the day. The whole day? But I didn't do anything. I have to quickly find my soulmate so we can switch faces again. Hey, Ryan, there's a girl named Amara. She's looking, She's for, looking me. for me? Where is she? Just down the hall. Okay, distract the teacher while I sneak out of class. Wait, is that how I look like to others? Finally, I got my face back. Hey, I'm Ryan. It's nice to meet you. I'm Amara. Nice to meet you too. It was pretty weird having your face. Everyone thought I was you. Plus, you have, like, a lot of girls crushing on you. Don't worry about them. I'm surprised we go to the same school, but I've never seen you before. I mean, it is a pretty big school. True. You want to have lunch together? Sure, I'm down. But, um, I think you should finish that detention first. Detention? For what? Mom, I don't want to go to school today. What? I said, I don't want to go to school today. Funny, now pack your stuff. You're almost late. Amara, why are you late? Why do you think I'm late? I came here on purpose because I don't want to be here. Detention! Why can't I lie? What do you mean? Every time someone asks me something, I automatically say the truth. You're lying. I'm not. Ask me something. What do you think of me? You're a two-faced, fake little... Excuse me? Do you really mean that? Yes, every single word. Don't forget your hashtag. What's happening? A girl in our class got murdered and they're trying to figure out who did it. Oh, it was me. I killed her. Wait, what? Your makeup looks cool today. Thanks. Should I make you some pancakes for breakfast? Not right now. I need to get to school. Hey, you're ready for the test. What test? The maths test that starts in an hour. <sighs> we never learned about this. The answer to question 25 is A. <laughs> I could get used to this. Hey, do you know where Emily is? Didn't you hear? She passed away. What do you mean she passed away? She took her own life. How do you know that? I was there. Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... This drink is prohibited. It cannot be drunk. There used to be only one person who could make this drink. People tried to get the recipe, but it was impossible. Why was it impossible? May I know what your mom's name is? Grace. Grace? She was my father's assistant. She's the only one who can make that potion. The effect of that potion made people forget their memories. Then what should we do, Dad, so that her memory can come back? You have to make your mom drink this. Once she does, you'll get your memory back. Okay, I'll go give my mom the drink now. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Honey, where were you? I went to a friend's house. Friend? Yes, I brought you this drink. They said it's very good for the health. Okay, I'll drink it. You really think I'm this stupid? I know what you're up to. You're trying to trick me. Mom, you should drink from that bottle now. Who gave you this? Answer me. From now on, you can't go anywhere. You know what? You're the reason I'm blind. Why are you so mean to me? I'm your daughter. You asked too many questions. Come with me. Let go of me. This is the only way I can keep you from going out ever again. I have to call Chris. 
Hello, Chris. My mum locked me up. Okay, Amara, I'm coming there right now. Okay, I'm waiting. Amara? Chris? Hey, who's this? Grace. You? What are you doing here? Put an end to what you've done and drink from the bottle I gave to your daughter before I call the police. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna drink from it now. <sighs> Amara, what's wrong with you? I remember everything. You're not my mom. Amara, wake up! Wow, you're really stubborn. It's time I try something else. Ouch! You're hurting me. Why are you pinching me? You've slept for two hours and now there's a storm. Sorry, Mom. I'm just too tired. How was Justin's flight? Still no news. Maybe he's still on the plane. <sighs> Amara, you slept again. What is wrong with you? You put Justin's life in danger. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't sleep all night. Have you heard anything back from him? No, I thought he would call you once he arrived. He still hasn't called. Let me know if he does. Did you see what happened down the road? There was a flood and so many cars got damaged. Yes, I know. The water reached my house as well. This is really bad. I really hope they can catch the person responsible for this. Me too. Who are you calling? I've been trying to call Justin, but he's not answering. It's your fault if something bad happens to him. Stop making me feel guilty. I think we have to destroy Amara. It's true. She's causing trouble for everyone. Oh my gosh, look, that's her. Hey, I'm having a hard time too, because I'm trying to not fall asleep for all of you. It's better if we just get rid of her now. You think that will solve the problem? If you get rid of me, I'll sleep forever. That means there's going to be a storm forever. Why is there no news about the plane? I'm starting to get worried. This is the girl. What are you doing? Why is the police here? Because you're responsible for Justin's disappearance. What? No, I'm not. And besides, no one knows what happened to him. Maybe his phone died or something. Justin's finally calling me, Mom. Come on, pick up. We're all worried. Hey, babe, where are you? Is it true that this is Justin's girlfriend? Huh? This is not Justin's voice. Huh? I only have one diamond? That's so little! Don't complain, I got minus two, at least you got one. I guess I'm gonna have to choose to marry a rich man. Although I wanted to be single, but I only have one diamond. Hello, I'm gonna be taking care of your wedding with Mr. Liam. Where did you come from? Liam hired me, he said he can't wait for you to be his can't wife. Can't wait? How old is this guy? Relax, he's 21. 21? He's younger than me, I don't want to marry someone younger than me. It's too late now, you can't cancel the wedding. How are you expecting me to sign this contract without even knowing what he looks like? Mr. Liam requested this and he also wants it to be a secret. That's so weird. What if he's a criminal? Don't worry. I guarantee you he's not a bad person. Now let's sign the agreement. Okay. Ten million? Why don't I have enough diamonds? Now I have to pick the stupid black card. I'm just going to throw it away. It's useless. Are you crazy? Why would you throw that card away? You can use it to buy anything in this world. Didn't you know that? Wait, really? I'm almost late. Excuse me, your card fell on the floor. Oh, yes, thank you. By the way, since you helped me find this card, do you want to have coffee somewhere? Yeah, sure. Thank you for inviting me, by the way. Before I leave, can I get your Instagram? Yes. I mean, sorry, I can't. I don't have enough diamonds. It's okay, I can give you mine and you can just follow me. That's a really good idea. I'm so glad I met this guy. He's so handsome. Amara, come downstairs. Your future husband's here to see you. Future husband? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get married soon, but I don't want to marry Liam. I want to marry the guy from the coffee shop. Huh? This means I can run away from this marriage. Yes. I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, Mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. Ouch. Look what my powers can do. <sighs> okay, okay. Stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm going to tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't. Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. 
I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? <sighs> because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm going to have to accept it. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. How many times do I need to eat today? 50 times? My stomach's going to explode. Whoa, why did you bring all that food to school? Because I have to eat 50 times today. 50 times? I only have to eat 5 times. You're going to be fat. Why the body shaming? Class, in today's lesson, we're going to be learning history. Sir, can I go to the toilet? My stomach really hurts. You've been back and forth to the toilet like 100 times today. That's because she wants to go to the canteen. Yeah, she was seen eating at the canteen last lesson. Sharp! Sorry, Amara, but I'm not going to let you get any more toilet breaks. I've eaten so much food today. Only 10 more meals and I'm done. Wait, the food ratio isn't meant to be spent. It's dangerous if you run out. You have to stop eating now. What? The food ratio above your head is only meant to be spent when you... How much is this Nintendo Switch? Eight years. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, never mind. Have you decided whether you're going to college? Yeah, um, I don't think I'm going. It costs like 70 years. I can't afford to lose that many. I mean, you could... Trust me, mom. I don't need to study to be successful. I can do better things with my life. Look at all the phones I bought. How are you spending so many years? Aren't you scared you're going to run out? Amara, do you want to hang out with us tonight? No, thanks. Why are you like this? You never go out. One year isn't a lot. Yes, it is. And it's not worth it. I found this cheap ring online. It only costs five days. Honey, you should be careful with what you buy online. What happened to all your years? What do you mean? Look up. I didn't buy anything worth 150 years. And they lived happily ever after. I'm gonna miss you. Sophia, the couple that was here earlier has decided to adopt you. I'm so happy for you, sis. Yay, we're finally getting adopted. No, I'm not coming with you this time. Wait, you're actually not coming? I'm not going anywhere without my sister. It's gonna be okay, she'll get used to it. Okay, it's time. Have you said your goodbyes yet? Not yet. What are you waiting for? They're waiting for her outside. Just give me one second, I'll go get her. Sophia, your new parents are here. It's time for you to go. Don't you want to say goodbye? Sophia? I'm not doing this. Get rid of her. Please, just listen to them. Trust me. Wear this.